and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Jimmy Bliss. Today I will be bringing you news from campus, the New Jersey, New York area, and news from around the country. Coronavirus cases continue to grow on, at Seton Hall University warrants mitigation steps may be on the table. Dr. Shauna Cooper Gibson and Matthew Burrowick noted that the trend of cases during the spring semester has surpassed the trend of the fall semester in which 191 cases of COVID-19 were reported. A total of 72 cases of the coronavirus have already been reported since the beginning of January. In other news, WSOU is celebrating Black History Month by highlighting the heritage and history of African Americans. Throughout the month of February, 89.5 will honor Black History Month by showcasing many black artists on air and through social media. Rage Against the Machine are among many of the African American musicians that will be featured throughout the 28 days. Now we'll head over to Megan Gonzalez with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Megan? Thanks, Jimmy. Hello, Pirates. I'm Megan Gonzalez with your Seton Hall Sports Update. It was an up and down weekend for Seton Hall basketball. The women's team lost in heartbreaking fashion on Saturday to Creighton. The Pirates had led as much by 14 in the third quarter, but the Blue Jays were able to storm all the way back and force overtime. Senior Desiree Elmore put in quite the performance for the Pirates, finishing with 25 points and a career-high 17 rebounds. Elmore had a chance to win the game for the Pirates in the final seconds of overtime, but the baseline jumper was too strong and went off the rim. When the buzzer sounded, the scoreboard read 77-76 in favor of the Blue Jays. The Pirates looked to regroup versus an annual Big East favorite, DePaul, last night. On the men's side of the hardwood, they continued their win streak on Sunday, defeating Marquette 57-51 at the Prudential Center. This game was yet again won by defense as the Pirates held the Golden Eagles to 30% shooting from the field and 12% from behind the arc. The Pirates also grounded freshman phenom Dawson Garcia, who led the Golden Eagles in scoring prior to Sunday with zero points. Pirates are back in action at the Rock tomorrow at 8.30 versus DePaul. That's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Megan Gonzalez. Now back to Jimmy at the desk. Thank you, Megan. In local news, more than 70 Rite Aid stores in New Jersey will start taking appointments for COVID vaccines starting this week. Each store will receive 100 doses per week with the number set to rise when need be. 15 of the 21 counties in New Jersey include a Rite Aid, with only Atlantic, Cape May, Hunterdon, Sussex, Union, and Warren counties not containing a Rite Aid. In other local news, travelers can get a COVID-19 test inside Newark Liberty International Airport starting on February 15th. People can head to the Express Check testing facility in United Airlines Terminal C baggage claim area to get a test on the spot prior to boarding their airplane. Travelers will have the option to choose between a rapid or PCR test while at the airport. Now we will head over to Ronnie Castaneda with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Ronnie? Thanks, Jimmy. I'm Ronnie Castaneda with the weather update for the South Orange area. Tuesday, we'll see a 90% chance of rain with highs of 46 and lows of 21. Wednesday, we'll see sunny skies return with highs of 34 and lows of 23. And don't put your shovels away just yet, as Thursday and Friday expect to see some heavy snowfall with temperatures staying between the 30s and 20s. Finally, Saturday, we'll see cloudy skies with highs of 30 and lows of 18. That's all for your weather update. I'm Ronnie Castaneda. Now back to Jimmy Bliss with news from around the country. Thank you, Ronnie. In national news, President Joe Biden has called on Congress to pass stricter gun laws, including banning assault weapons. Biden asked that Congress pass a law to require background checks on all gun sales, as well as high-capacity magazines and eliminate immunity for gun manufacturers. On his campaign trail, President Biden promised to take action against guns within his first 100 days in office. That's all for today's episode of Pirate News. Once again, I'm Jimmy Bliss. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.